Welcome back to the ESL Pro League. T-Squared and Ryu hanging out at the Xfinity Zone. We want to give a shout out to one of our sponsors, Kingwin, for making this season possible. We appreciate the continued support. Still waiting on Ryu's Arnold impersonation. Not sure if we're ever going to Now! <laughs> oh, we just got it. Are you kidding me? That was good. That was good. I, feel, <laughs> I feel really good. I'm going to clip that. I'm going to record. No, don't you give me the, the waffling hand. That was good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Almost as good as the Intel Extreme Masters, which is taking place next month. It's going down November 19th and 20th at the Oral Arena in Oakland, California. So make sure you join us for some stadium-level competition in CSGO and League of Legends. If you're looking for more information on that, IamOakland.com is your destination. But we're talking about Winter Fox, and we're talking about Immortals. And Winter Fox is lined up. We were just talking about they're over in Australia a little bit weird uh, or, you know, a little bit of a weird season for them. Not not yeah, what they so, were expecting. Yeah, it started weird, right? Because yeah. that we didn't know that they were going to be in the pro league. There's a whole roster situation that's uh, kind of water under the bridge now. Um, and so they came over from Australia. I think they're a mix of a couple different teams. They have three people named Chris on the roster, and none of them are named Arnold. And uh, <laughs> we've seen them. We've seen like Zussi. We've seen Dexter. I think we've seen Imagine. They have these maps where they just have like these crazy individual performances, but they don't ever have them like at the same time. It's never two people on one Correct. map. It's always one guy, and then the next map it's somebody else um, and and they're going up against the mortals on the other side who all these names we're super familiar with and for the most part have um, substantially greater firepower better chemistry they've been together longer and they're just a more established experienced team yeah so you're predicting a 2-0 for this series but what is winter fox going to have to do in order to take this one so I know that they're playing, for them to have uh, a chance of taking any map, they're they're better on Mirage than they are on any other map. It's the map that they always prefer to play. Unfortunately, Immortal's obviously very, very good and well-storied team on Mirage. So I think they, they need to change some stuff up, because I can tell you that their A execute on Mirage is basically like the standard one, and they run it round after round after round. So maybe have a couple fakes off that, assuming Immortals has done their homework. Um, and, and I think they have to have two people go off. I think Dexter has to step up really big with the AWP, and then Zeusy needs to play really well. So those are your two key players there for the side. Now, what are yep. you thinking on Immortals' side? Who's Who's been impressing you the most this season? Um, it's almost always going to be Bolts. I just think kind of pound for pound as a player, he's just super consistent. We call him the rock of that team, and he's the guy I expect to deliver results day in, day out for them. All right, well, we're going to toss the rock on over to our casters because the players are ready to get this one underway, and it's the Bears, and it's Blue. Take it the away, guys. Bears. Thank you Woo. very much, T-Squared. We are ready to jump into this game. It's Wednesday, one day before the final day of the ESL Pro League, the day of decision, the day of uh, the day of atonement, whatever you want to call it. Is Echo Fox going to make playoffs? Probably not. There was zero percent chance, but now I think he got raised up a little bit. We'll we'll figure that out. Well, I don't. Uh, I mean, Renegade's claim to not be going, so I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. So I think we brought this up once before, but just in case anybody uh, was wondering on that, I think Renegades made the decision themselves because of the scheduling conflict with the Asian minor. That more than likely, if given the choice between the two, they're probably going to end up going to the minor. Completely understandable, of course, uh, because of the fact that well, that leads to a major, and you're major probably major. probably going to want to do that. I want that sticker. Uh, a league event. So you want stickers on your guns, Blue? That's right. Yeah. Stickers everywhere. Everyone loves stickers. Yeah. That's the motivation we want players to have. I want a sticker. That would be cool. I want like an old school De Bear sticker, you know? Oh, an old school sticker? Yeah, let's have an old school yeah. like 1.6. The, the throwback stickers? The throwback stickers. Wait, 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 where's the throwback <laughs> stickers, Valve, huh? I don't, I, don't want think, some. I don't think they had official Valve majors in 1.6, though. So they should. The, uh, I mean, you know, they had some tournaments. They had big tournaments back then. Yeah, yeah. They had big tournaments. How do you, how do you measure it, though? That's the Listen, problem. if you went to these tournaments, you sacrificed a lot. So yeah, that, that's I, how you I remember it. that. Yeah, I remember people telling me about how much the struggle was back in like the early to late 2000s. The struggle, the struggle, man. <laughs> was, uh, those are early times in esports. But, but anyway. you know what? It's a new, it's a new era. There's a lot of great CS. We got Winter Fox and Immortals. Who do you think is going to take this pistol, Blue? Uh, pistol? Oh, I thought you were pistol. talking about the I'm talking about pistol <laughs> oh, okay. right now. Uh, probably still the Immortals, to be honest. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure this out in a moment, of course. Winter Fox on the CT side, though. Problem is, CT sides, I haven't really seen anything too like phenomenal from them um, in terms of forming up as of yet. T sides have had kind of similar results. Like that, They're a really weird team in that like maps you'd think they'd be really good at, they're not. And maps you'd think they'd be really bad at, they actually have surprised quite a bit. Like They got destroyed, I think, by... I, remember, I forget who, but it was one of the higher tier teams on uh, on Dust2, but then they went and they like flipped it around completely on train, which is like a really a weird story for those guys. Yeah. But as we can see now, the Immortals players are going to push out for the mid control here. And we've got 
Mai coming up from these guys too. Looping in. Nobody's peeked out. They haven't checked for that player over there by the sandbags either. He can peek out. Imagine getting overwhelmed though. Where's the support coming out from mid? Fortunately, they're not getting a whole lot of it. Zeusy's found a kill, but beyond that, the Immortals is ripping into this bomb site right now. Three, and now looking for the fourth kill too. Off new was that player by sandbags, I do believe, and he's gonna get knocked out pretty quickly there too. So I was pretty excited on Winter Fox. They had literally four flashbangs and a smoke, and I didn't see any of those being used in the, in the, in the round, so I was kind of curious on what kind of setup they're doing with uh, maybe like a retake setup, but uh, there's no utility used. I didn't mm. see anything. It was a bit It was a bit odd that it seemed so passive despite the great setup they had to try and defend that, so it's a little bit weird there, and Immortals do take control of it, and hey, my prediction ends up being correct. There you go, Blue. Off to a good start today. You do get things right. I'm not, I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> oh, the blow! No one thinks that. Come on. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't think you've ever listened to Reddit. You can't listen to Reddit all the time. That's true. Anyway, Phelps moving in pretty quickly, and the second round from the Winter Fox guys here, trying to resist it, but pressure's not looking so great at this point. As you can see, Phelps already working his way over there inside of Checkers. Good control maintained here. They've just got it down to one guy off new, and they already know where he's at. So the second he peeks out there from the spools, he's going to get absolutely destroyed by Lucas. Down to Imagine and Zeusy, and they were playing on the A side anyway. So things are already pretty much under control here for the Brazilian squad. Pretty simple standard anti-eco, sending three people towards B. You know, it depends on your play style of team. You either go A or B, but the point is they were together. They weren't too spread out. They, um, Henny and Zeus kind of watching the flank a little bit, but uh, just a pretty simple standard round and just out shooting Winter Fox. And so now we are going to see Phelps moving his way out here too. Really just trying to hunt down these last two guys. Being a bit cautious, of course, since like dropping these guns is going to be like the biggest boost in the world. They want to make sure more importantly they don't lose their own guns here. Um, as they do manage to slowly corner them, however, though, they are going to go out for these frags. Zeus moving in first. Now, have that first kill, but he does not check behind the white box. And actually, Zeusy is going to pick up two kills here. Retrieves the AK, gets the third one, and oh, the fourth Zeusie. one. Zeusy with the incredible save. Granted, of course, Immortal still win the round, but the amount of damage he just did That's there expensive. makes that not too bad of a round, in all honesty, for I mean, Winterfox. Immortal kind of chasing down this kill right here. I mean, this guy just, he just literally ran down like $8,000 worth of equipment right there. Just pull off the Alamo. This is <laughs> my. Holding White it box, down. I'm holding it. Holding it down, but that's no, that's a very expensive round. This could change the dynamic of the match because uh, now Winter Fox is buying. After that, after him mowing down those people, they rebought. So it's uh, they lose this round. This could be a, a favor. Often we've been picking up the first kill there too with a P250, one of the few players that doesn't actually have a big gun to work with here. APOC, perfect timing on the lurk from mid, works his way in through the vents, catches Lucas standing out in the open and checkers. This is into a five on three. Now granted, Immortals, they got themselves into the B bomb site here and they should be able to get enough control to find the plant, but the retake potential is still very, very real. Two smokes sitting over here on the Winter Fox side, plenty of flashbangs to get their way into the site and two HG grenades. This is actually not that bad of a setup at all. Not only this two, but Immortals, they're about oh. to use a lot of their utility oh. off new. Did he just get him through he the wall and through checks? the wall with the two... 250, or was that 5.7? P250, yeah. it was. Why did I even know they could spam it that well with that gun? <laughs> <laughs> he gets him through the wall in checks with the P250, and Henny, he's gonna be blind, but he's wild spraying, gets the first kill, and he's immediately traded out. How did this round come to pass? Wow. Zeus is gonna be completely overwhelmed. That was perfectly played by Winter Fox. Talk about a momentum change right there, just getting the early picks, the late round picks, and only one person dying for Winter Fox. Immortal's kind of dropping the ball these last two rounds, and now it's, uh, we're going to decide if they want to rebuy up again. I mean, they're pretty low on money, but they can't afford two AKs if they wish to. But I think they just might save it. You know, play the safe game. Yeah, you lost a lot of people last two rounds, but there's no reason to panic, no reason to buy. But guess what? They're buying. They don't care. They're playing a little risky CS. Maybe they have that confidence over Winter Fox. I mean, after a start like that, you really got to try to battle back for control quickly. <laughs> sort of that mental point where it's like, okay, we should not be here. Let's let's bring things back down to reality before this gets too crazy. But the problem is, is obviously your buy is uh, much worse than what your opponents are bringing to the table now. So that may not be the easiest task in the world. They're still going to try to slow play this, but that's actually what allowed Winter Fox to play fairly aggressive on their CT side and catch some of these some of these players from uh, from the Immortals rather early on. And again, it's working out. Apop with the first pickup. He did have the second guy lined up here, but he fell back into the garage. Still is able to move in though and win the duel. Bit of a heavy cost. He goes down to 10 HP, but still finding the kill. We saw one pickup from Zeus elsewhere on the map, but that is going to have very little consequence unless they can pick up a second one here in mid. And it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to do that immediately. Yeah, Winter Fox playing smart after they got those kills. Now they're playing 2A and 2 towards this B bomb site. Just making sure that if they're going to attack a bomb site, they're going to have to fight through it and force them to plant the bomb.
which they won't give up easy picks, as you see in the angles they imagine, and, and, and Zeus, he's playing right now in A. They're going to try to shift out for this one now. Keeping bolts in the backside there to make sure nobody flanks them again. They've been dealing with that quite a bit, and it's become a large problem. But as they move in here, imagine looking to defend. They knock him out without any trades, and Henny not only does he get that kill, but he gets Zeusy as well, moving into the site. They've got the advantage now, not only this, but unfortunately for Winter Fox, both of their players were pretty much fully committed to that B-bomb site, keeping one further out in the halls there by the tree position, but that's about as close as they were. So this rotate's going to be rather long, and I mean, as you can already see, the Immortals are pretty well secured in post plants. Round's not over just yet, though. They're still trying to poke and prod their way back into this site, but response flashbangs are coming out from this T side now. It's holding them over here by the truck, and eventually, as you can see from them retreating, Winter Fox are going to give up and save here and hand over a third round to the Immortals. Yeah, Winter Fox just giving up A way too easily. I feel like um, if he was going to be at the forklift area, you want to have a person at the fence, because then if they check to reach the forklift, the guy in fence can shoot them in the back, but since I think Zeusy was by the quad area, he couldn't really shoot them in the back that well as well if he was at fence, so kind of a weird crossfire, not the most optimal one, and they died because of it. And we can see the opener here now, too. Unfortunately, as you mentioned, the support system, not really that well set up. Flashbang, they tried to toss it over, but that came in like two or three seconds too late. So it didn't really have a lot of effectiveness and allowed the Immortals to clear out that A-bomb site without too much issue after uh, the initial volley trade out towards mid there. It looks like Winter Fox is going to buy it right back up. You know, if you uh, try to keep the momentum, trying to hang in the game, uh, um, Immortals is still pretty low on money, so... Still can really, if, if if Winter Fox does win this round and they don't plant the bomb, it's going to be really hard for Mortals to buy again. So then Winter Fox will get that little uh, save round buffer. A little buffer to kind of like maybe <laughs> add extra couple rounds, you know? And we can, oh! <laughs> Bolts is denying that. Bolts <laughs> destroys Apoc as he tries to push out from behind the box there. Not, uh, not a lot of time that he'll be left alive and bringing this into a five on four pretty quickly. And that's uh, that's mid control being gained here too, and pretty pretty fast for the Immortals too, which could prove quite dangerous. Winter Fox were originally putting a lot of pressure on here to prevent this from happening, but uh, now they've seemed to shy away from it quite a bit and are focusing on the sites instead. They've only really got Dexter hiding out of Z. So the Immortals are in here and they, I mean, they've got all options open to them. They can take this to either site at this point. Yeah, and the uh, Immortals is trying to get that mid hold and they're slowly taking over that checkers area. Uh, Offnu is going to have to have a big round here because he's surrounded by four terrorists as they're about to execute the bomb. So Dexter's going to try to over-rotate and almost get the kill of Bell, but not quite. Dexter not finding anything at all from heaven there too. Just lights up a few players. Zeus, he's going to try to hold the line, but only finds one frag, immediately traded. And in the meantime, Imagine's back over here on the A-bomb, so he's completely disconnected from the action, but may still be able to hold on to this rifle. Obviously, however, with him being the LMS, he'll be chased down in a moment here. Might not be. Depends on the money that the Immortals players still have to work with. And yeah, as we can see, it's not the greatest right now, so it's not necessarily worth it to go in. If they can box him in, maybe they'll look for it, but they're probably going to want to rely on that, not necessarily one-on-ones, which may end up happening anyway here due to the way that the positioning is working out here. But Lucas the angle him. works out for Lucas. Imagine didn't even see him working his way up towards the position below him there, so ends up getting the advantage there. And with that, they'll dispatch of him and not allow a single save for the Winter Fox roster coming off that fifth round. So the, the, um, this last two rounds you saw by uh, Winter Fox, it's going to be a common occurrence in a lot of CT sides on North American CS is where um, when people are holding an angle, the CTs aren't peaking at the same time. And so it's like it really reduces the optimal just holding angles. Like if the T's are going to walk into a choke point, they have to either choose one or the other angle and at least go for a one for one. But a lot of times the CTs are peaking before that's even happening and they get picked off and another guy gets picked off. It's just, I don't know, I think a lot of teams can clean up on that where they can just really make them walk into a crossfire more. I don't see that enough. I, I think that'd be more common in a, in a pro league kind of setting. And we can see here as well with Phelps Hanging out in the back over here. Again, that mid control being gained very early on. Winter Fox are doing a lot of resistance on the seeker round. They've just gone for the gamble stack on the A site. Uh, but with mid control already being picked up from these players, they're going to be able to push their way right up here. And if they spot that it's a heavy stack, well, then they could very easily reverse that decision and go right back over here towards the B site. Zeus actually being dinked early on there, but he does trade the kill, takes out Imagine. Very, very cautious, of course, that they're being a sudden Z push, but they've got that covered. Not going to be too big of a worry. Henny may find himself the next lineup here, too, as he catches a player pushing for May Main. That's another one. Down for the count. 
Yeah, even a third too. This is something that's going to raise suspicions, especially with all of them being on pistols. So they've pushed into the B side. They've cleared it out. Now they've got their round pretty much secured here. All the attempts from Winter Fox to play aggressively have utterly failed. And Zussi, as the last man up and running here, is going to try to impact. Actually almost grabs that kill. He's hunting for it, but can't get anything with the USP. Lucas is going to take him down. I think that's team ace as well for the Immortals. Nice. I like that move by Immortal setting two people in that mid, kind of peak that highway area. If you notice, like teams like Fnatic love doing that, especially if you know the other team's saving. It's a good way just to poke at A, see if they're stacking, if they're stacking highway or whatever, and just really just bait out people, come out Z and stuff. And it's a, I like the strat. I like to use it. And the Immortals again now, here on the seventh round, are going to try to proceed forward to get that mid control, but we do see a lot more resistance coming in, obviously, from Winter Fox, and a lot more aggressive resistance, too. Look at this from APOC going in, but nobody checked outside. So he's going to be here, Phelps looking for it, and it's a good thing he does too, because it denies APOC of this angle. Now, Optio, he's stuck in checkers here, grabs that kill, but he's got to duck away. He's only got 13 HP. Looks like he's going to be able to make it out of there, but just barely. And it leaves, uh, leaves both these teams in kind of an uneasy situation currently in a three on four. Yeah, it's unfortunate for APOC. He literally had the one up, the angle and everything, and still missed his shot. I mean, those are just the worst to lose that, especially when, you know, right now it could have been a five on two situation for uh, uh, Winter Fox. But now it looks like Winter Fox can clean up the rounds off and he takes out Felt in that uh, checkered area. And now Immortals has a lot to do with a two on four. And now they'll look to try and, at the very least, try to fake execute here into the B bomb site. Bolts is making some noise. And it's working too. Look, he's drawn over the rotation from Zussi. Imagine was about to shift over there for a second too, but he's he's falling away. And now, so long as Lucas could find that entry, it would have worked out great. But with only two up and running here, you had to have the guy behind to start this fake to begin with. And there was no follow-up. It all falls to Bolts. He knows where Imagine's hiding out, but unfortunately still cannot take him down. And Winter Fox will be able to close things down there and pick up a second round off of that. Yeah, it was a nice um, kind of smoke fake by Immortals. I mean, if Winter Fox was up 5-1, they probably would not have pulled that extra person to over rotate because you know you're up 5 1, you're not trying to overcompensate for you know you, you need to win rounds, so you're gonna probably cheat a little bit over to the next bomb site if you see any action. And then Immortals kind of knows this and then kind of use it to the advantage, but unfortunately, for not pull the win out of that round. A spray coming in finds connection on the Dexter early on here as he tries to push up to that aggressive spot out mid again, but it doesn't work. They're doing the boost here up to the shroud spot too, and I think they've maintained the quietness about this one. One of the players jumping may have been heard, but not entirely sure on that one. But it seems the moment had ah, Zeus just had to reapply smoke. Look, okay, they were going to double stack it, but now he shifted back over to the usual forklift spot. Still though, that's like a really aggressive spot to try and hold this A site from. We can see they're moving Zussi back now, but with how direct the Immortals have been playing this, they continue to go with that style and go into the A bomb. So this really it may have not worked out so well for them. So it's a good thing that they are able to adjust this in time and get them back. Where Immortals are actually going to take this is yet to be seen, as they're still kind of spread across the map in the usual default pattern. Yeah, and Zussi's kind of lined up for a smoke here outside A. Um, he's kind of just waiting for any kind of movement. And nowadays, you don't see many people do that run boost in that spot anymore because it makes too much noise. So that's why they kind of hopped up over here. So, because if, if they heard that, Felt would have heard that because in the spot he was in, he'd hear them run there and it's an easy, easy tell that they're there. And oftentimes too, there's kind of a double-sided coin to that because if you purposefully miss it, you can sort of have the, uh, oh, use yeah. the noise cue to throw them off a little bit. But the first attempt to push into that A-bomb site is kind of up by the shroud spot. Again, as you mentioned, nobody really uh, heard that there. They were pretty quiet about that, so he's able to slip up there without being noticed and pick up that first kill. The rest of the Immortals are still moving into the site. The problem is that because of that one guy moving in easily getting killed, they have had their security, they've kind of like lowered their security on the A-bombs and a lot of them started to shift away over here towards the other position. Zeus is still here though, he's going to be able to pick up another kill against Zeus. Lucas takes out Dexter in the meantime by the truck position. Finally, Zeus will fall and the rest of the Immortals are clearing this out. Nicely done by Lucas moving in. <laughs> Almost a big mistake there, runs out of ammo. He's able to get the reload, however, takes down APOC and gets a nice 4k on the round for himself. That kind of fell apart really fast. By it Fox. seemed like I it was going great, but then all of a sudden they all rotated off A. I, I, yeah, I don't understand why you over leaving the bomb site. Like, nothing's happening. I, I don't think they even made a move towards B or anything. They just decide they wanted to overstack. I mean, like, like, you have to have confidence in holding your bomb sites and being able to be comfortable retaking sites. Like, you have to have a game plan to retake bomb sites because, like, something like this. If you over-rotate and they hit the other bomb site, you know, it's, it's a numbers game. There's four people there, one CT. It's going to be really hard for him to really just hold the bomb site by himself. 
And Phelps now starting to shift himself with the rest of the team here to much more direct style of play early on, at least with the amount of noise they're making here into the bomb site. Phelps even jumping into the Molotov there to take in the risk, and he finds two pickups. The player further back on the site over there by Generator can't do anything to stop this because he got flashed out. Now it's just off new hiding out here. Such a quick clear. Opti is going to get dropped out of this one, and the round's already over essentially with Henny watching out with the Opti. Probably the off pickup as well from him. Imagine is able to take down Bolts, doing some damage at least to this T side, but he's alone now, and they know where he's at. So this is where it's going to get tough to find any further impact. It will eventually get knocked out by Zeus from the Immortal side. Smart move by Felt, just timing to... So he hops down when the Molotov's about to go out. I mean, he takes some damage, but when, when people see a Molotov, they don't really expect a person to always run through it. And at that time, it cut off Winter Fox off guard that there's a guy in a Molotov shooting at us and he gets two kills because of it. So a uh, nice timing by Felt on that. And as the Immortals have taken a good amount of control in this matchup after a little bit of a weird start, it's not looking likely at the moment that Winter Fox are going to battle their way back. Especially with the amount of risks they're taking too. Again, this is sort of a similar story. It was working out great for them initially, but now the Immortals have gotten used to it, so they're just consistently playing it back passively. They're waiting for these pushes, and well, what do you know, as I've been talking about it, the Winter Fox players, for the most part, have been trying to push into them again, and they've been knocked out at every single occurrence. Closest they got to finding a kill was bringing Lucas down to 50 HP, and now they know where Offnew is. This is that last man up and running here in heaven. They'll get destroyed by the two-man combo here in T-Main b site knocking them out, and it will give the Immortals an eighth round. Might expect a pause here soon to be completed. That's from Winter Fox. I mean, even in the gun rounds, nothing's really working. I imagine if the op play doesn't work with Dexter, that's that's probably going to be the breaking point for a pause. Yeah, but they're not going to do it, it looks like. It looks like they're just going to have that op down and everything and just uh, try to see if they can start picking up some momentum. Um, I'd say for Winter Fox, just literally stop trying to make plays all the time. Try to hold your ground. Uh, you know, you don't have to be too pushy. Just kind of hold angles. Work together, set up some crossfires, because right now they're literally getting picked apart little by little. It's, it's not like Immortals is executed into anything. They're literally just walking, taking shots, and then one of five times, like just getting Rick rolled. Off new finding the first kill there, but getting traded back out. Winter Fox rotating in, but it's another very fast take from the Immortal side here. Spray coming in through the, the grate over here, the, the garage door. Unfortunately, he's going to do some damage to some of the members of the Immortals, but not meaning much. The flight being knocked out by Henny there. He's watching it with Yop. Bolts his eyes on this push in. I believe that's over here towards Vents if they try to push in from there. And yeah, Winter Fox already know they've been outmatched here. So again, much like many gun runs in the past, they're going to give it up. They're going to fall back. They lost their op power. I don't know if they're even going to be able to pick it up because. I think it died somewhere within this site, so there's no way they're getting that back. They've lost that big investment, and it's another gun round going, by the way, of the Immortals. Yeah, Winter Fox kind of gave up after uh, they didn't really have any good positionings to retake the bomb site. I mean, they have plenty of utility. Uh, I'm just wondering if maybe they don't, maybe they're just not comfortable retaking bomb sites. It's, it's showed they're saving. It's, it's not the, the, the worst play, but you are down nine to two. You do want to. And there's the pause. You do want to win rounds. Should be noted there, too, on the scoreboard. Dexter definitely flatlining so far in this match. Oh, and 10 with one assist. <sighs> Feels Those bad, are hard. Man. Those are hard, man. Those are uh, being zero in anything, especially in a, in a league where it's being broadcasted and everyone's going to hate you. You're going to look at Reddit and just be sad. You don't <laughs> want to be sad. It hurts, it, it hurts her confidence. Never look at Reddit. Dexter needs his confidence back. He needs to bring that off back that, you know, you're in a pro level for a reason. You played a lot of CS, but, you know, you, where's the mental game? Could say he needs to go from zero to hero. Oh, I like that, Blue. Got I like it. that. But I want to see him do it. I don't want, I don't want words. <laughs> I want to see him do it. Yeah, that is a big thing. And I mean, uh, unfortunately, like I mentioned before, too, just nothing's really working for them. Uh, they were actually doing like those two, three rounds uh, right at the beginning where they upset. Um, it was looking great for them because it was like, oh, wow, anti ecos they are doing this much damage. And there was, I think it was, uh, I think it was Zeusy that pulls off like a 4K right at the end of the round. It was like, okay, they can impact on their anti ecos The problem is once the Immortals actually started consistently winning rounds, we never saw that again. Uh, yeah. anti ecos have looked very weak. We haven't, they've just basically been run over every single round by the Brazilians and even on gun rounds, too. Uh, it's either like we had in the last round where they just get outmatched completely. And and they're saving, or they just can't win any of the initial fights, and they get controlled too quickly. Um, yeah. So when they try to rethink, there's just no odds that work in their favor. So with Dexter, you see him opping the B-bomb site, but B-bomb site's an easy place to smoke off, especially if you're an opper. You just literally can toss two smokes, and you have to play super passive, and then you have to rely on your teammate. So maybe we'll just let's have the op in the middle. Let's have the op in A, where if they take A, they need like four smokes committed for you to even to flush you out. And then you, then you can play the retake op game from there. But in B, there's not many places you could op retake with Molotovs flying in the site. 
or being smoked off in CT spawns. So I feel like op B is a good thing sometimes, but it, it limits yourself if a team knows how to work around the op B. Yeah. So maybe you got to kind of move it around a little bit. And we saw that in the last round, too. Just very quick Flashed, smoke. Flashed, smoked, yep. he was, pushed out. And I think it was one of the first people to die, too. And they never even retrieved it. They never got it back under their control. So they <laughs> they finally were able to get that big investment, and they lose it in, like, 20 seconds. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's a bit of a waste. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. And that's, uh, if you notice, like, a lot of top operas, if you just have that one opera on the team, uh, yes, you'd probably play a bomb site majority of the time, but you have to be able to move that op in different spots in the map. You know, keep them on their toes. Hey, look, I'm up in middle now. Oh, look, I'm peeking A main with my op. I'm peeking A halls or, you know, just like just mixing this up a lot and it makes harder teams to read you. They can't just go into rhythm. They have to use a lot more utility at the start of the round so they don't get picked off early. And so it, it really helps if you're able to just move that off around a little bit. Uh, mid controls become a pretty big thing here too, I would say, for the Winterfox side. Again, much like in the first couple of rounds, they were doing a great job at defending it, and then all of a sudden that just completely faded away. They've been handing it over on a silver platter in a lot of these rounds, and even when they tried to resist it, it's been like really aggressive resistance, like sending a player up to garage doors or something like that. And that guy's almost been knocked out every single time. And Dexter is going towards A. Decides that. I don't even know if he just plays A all or B all the time or is just opting that one round in B. I don't watch too much of Winter Fox on this map, but it looks like Immortals is going to hit towards A with a fast execute. Zeus just picking off Dexter. Now, they're going to try to resist this too, but already losing one of their players over here in the back corner, it's going to yield a whole lot of control, and the Immortals know this. They're starting to smoke it out. The push from a match in, though, this goes right through the smoke. Apoc almost finds the Bomb Planter, brings him down to 3 HP. Lucas is barely going to be able to get away here. He'll duck himself in the corner. Unfortunately for Apoc, he's not going to try and find some more kills here. He doesn't even know where to look at this point, but he rushes up. He's going to get another one. And I think they killed that player on top of the checkers, too. Now it's just Zeus. He's going to have to try to work this out as he dropped down from his quad position. He hears the defuse moving in. He's got support from his teammates, but he sneaks in the first pickup there, going for the second one, but he cannot do it. And he almost had them lined up, at the very least, had the two remaining players isolated. Would have been an incredible clutch if it would have happened, but not going to be the case. And the winner Fox, through pure outright aggression, that's Apoc and Imagine going for those smoke pushes. That is a pull off the victory here. I don't know if they killed the guy on top of it. I think he just fell I, down yeah, in the yeah, smoke. Yeah. I'm not was, sure, though. I thought he got knocked out, but it was actually the, the bomb player, Lucas, that gets knocked out around the corner. He's the one that survives. And try and clutch that. Yeah, it was nice for us. Yeah, I think he's above it right there. <laughs> he just falls right back down behind him, almost by Zeus. But uh, finally, Winter Fox able to pull it together, winning surrounds. And we'll see where Dexter's going to go with his off now. It looks like he's going to opt towards A. They're definitely going to try to mix it up here, and hopefully they're going to, you know, build up the momentum run. And so as we wait and see here now for the Immortals, they're going to shift back again. It's just that usual default pattern. But already out mid, again, as I mentioned this before, no mid control being held by the Winter Fox side. They're playing it very passively. And they're going to allow the Immortals guys out here, which essentially gives them unlimited options right from the start of the round. Yeah, um, on this map, mid is really hard to hold as a, as a CT, especially if the Ts have their smokes down and Molotov their flashes and everything. It's just, it, it's really, really hard to hold. So a lot of times teams will just play a retake, maybe have a person spotting. As you see Zeus, he's kind of like listening towards it, Z area as Phelps is pushed up. He doesn't know he's there, but I, I mean, he might have a good idea. He's going to check it just in case. And he does take off Phelps. Huge up, pick at the start of the round, but Immortals, they're going to swing towards B here. The Winter Fox, they're, they're stacking three people now. Now as they start to move into the site here too, off has not been noticed at first. He's going to be able to move out there, picks up two kills for himself, now down at 20 HP, but still a linchpin to try and hold this site. Won't work out though. And he's going to be able to take him down and now it leaves this into a two on two, but this is very easily clutchable for the Winter Fox side. Both of these players are below 20 HP. Lucas is down at 10. These guys are essentially one or two bullets away from being knocked out. A grenade will do the job, to be completely honest here. And Dexter's got one of them sitting on his arsenal. It's all quiet on the battlefield now, as the Immortals don't want to make a single mistake. They don't want to give away themselves at all. These guys need to shoulder peek and hit one bullet to kill them, so they certainly can't afford any single mistakes with positioning, noise making, or anything of that nature. And Winter Fox are just as preserved due to the 2v2 nature of this. But finally, with eight seconds on the clock, they will be able to get up to the site and find the plant. Imagines moving up to heaven first to look for his first kill, but obviously having to buy himself a few more seconds here too as Dexter's going to move in. And actually, it looks like both of them are moving in from heaven. The nade, though, here's the first test. It's not going to bounce towards them, however, so a complete miss. No additional damage being done as they move in. There's the first pickup. The second shot misses, and the Molotov is going to finish the job. So Winter Fox pull off the retake, and we'll find a fourth round. Nice patience for Imagine Wait for his teammate. And good nades, or a good a Molotov by Dexter. That was the perfect Molotov. It pushed out Henny out of his position, and 
That's a good little round by Winter Fox. Yeah, nicely done there indeed. Doing the good damage off new, I think, was uh, was your big man up on the, the bat there inside of or the, the player that was oh, inside yeah. the checkers oh, there. Oh yeah, definitely those two, uh, three. I think he had two kills were just they're they're pretty big kills. More importantly, delays the hit too, and I think helps with priming the damage on some of the other players, which makes that retake a lot easier uh, for the two remaining Winter Fox players at the end of that one. Yeah, with uh, with low HP, you have to play a little more careful. And both oh take out uh, off new, but nice exchange by Apoc. Now Winter Fox in a four and three situation where they can literally just sit back and wait for uh, Immortals to execute. They don't have to do anything risky. Got that extra man advantage. And now we are going to see the three remaining guys on the Immortals roster here. Two of them will be pushing over here towards the B-bomb site while they're keeping Henny to catch any of the rotators from like quad position or over here in MBK spot from rotating over into the B-bomb site. Investigating out a little bit, there's actually two in this site. One of them's in Shroud spot though, so he does not want to push out into the open here. Molotov will force one of the CTs further back with the follow-up nade, but in comes the Immortals in that B-bomb site, and they've only got one in the site to defend. They were expecting it today, and they also had the devoted guy to watch for the Z-push, too. So now Zeus is here, but he's got to rely on these rotations to be able to actually get back into the site, too. Molotov even blocking him off. Flashbang right to the face. Actually pegs him a bit there. However, in comes the cavalry. The rest of the CTs getting into position now to go for the retake. It'll be successful and not as yet to be seen, but with all this time they've wasted, the Immortals should be ready to hold this off. Even flashbang at the appropriate time. They're going to try to push in, but it goes right into the gauntlet. Phelps finding two pickups before going down. Zeusy, though, dropping down from heaven, gets the kill onto Lucas over there by Simple Spot. And now Henny's going to try to move in here and stop this. The good news is Henny's got this in the perfect plant position, but Zeusy, he's hunting for the kill. He's going to leap up. Henny knows he's coming, though, and the time's way too low. Anyway, so Henny's just going to close out on the kill, and the Immortals go right back into taking control of this matchup. Now in double digits as they go 10 to 4. APOC, though, I, I think you kind of gave up the bomb so a little too easy. You're up a man. I mean, you don't have your teammate helping you out. You can't play in such an open spot where you can easily get picked off and then they just surge right in the bomb site. In those kind of situations, play for the one for one to try to get one kill at least. So it, now it's a lot easier for your team to retake it because it's a lot easier to retake bomb site when there's only two people alive than three. You know, it's like you just can't give it up that easy. <laughs> A bit unfortunate for Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to throw out the flashbang, I think, and he just gets wrecked. Yeah, it's uh, not great time on his part. And now Immortals are already in the bomb side playing the round. It looks like it's going to be an easy round win for Immortals. And as mentioned previously, like even these half-by rounds for Winter Fox, these, these eight, what are majority of Ecos here, they're just getting destroyed by the Immortals, and this is no exception to it. Four kills already. Lucy going to try to resist, but the second he walks out, Phelps just dominates it. And there you have it. It's the 11th round up on the board for the Immortals, and that's going to close up the half, ladies and gentlemen. So we will see in a few minutes here if the guys on Winter Fox can recover it all on their second half here on the T side. It's going to be coming up in just a little bit here. Stick around for more action right here at the ESL Pro League. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Soylent, Xfinity, Logitech G, Pay Safeguard, The Score Esports, Mountain Dew, and ESEA. Bring it back to you now, ladies and gentlemen, with more here between Winter Fox and the Immortals. Winter Fox got off to an interesting start there, almost upsetting in the second round and then actually doing that on the third round, but unfortunately losing control very quickly. And from that point forward, it was very much a one-sided uh, game there for the Immortals players as they went 11 4 at the end of the half. But now they have a chance to bounce back. It's going to have to come on their T side, though. Eric, your thoughts on that? And if I you mean, actually have a chance to do it. This can be a very T side map. Uh, a lot of teams will you see a lot of success holding that middle. A execute whatever. There's a lot of nays and smokes that you can do to make the T side map. But it, I mean, you know, 
The stress and executions can only take you so far. As you saw that last half, Immortals was just out shooting Winter Fox every along the way. There was hardly ever where Im- Im- Immortals was like just being overwhelmed. It, it just seemed too easy for them. They're just literally running around, headshotting them. I mean, they had some good teamwork and smoking, flashing, and as they peak corners, they have teammates right behind them to help them out. Uh, we don't see that from a Winter Fox. And I mean, we saw the pause there happening too, made a little bit of a difference, but again, it seemed like while one or two rounds worked out great for them, it was just, it was only a momentary lapse and they immediately went back and took control. But anyway, uh, we're now ready to go into the second. Look at that nice little camera angle there Sapphire's giving us. That's look pretty. Look at that, right in the barbed it's like, wire. It's artistic. Is that, is that razor wire or yeah, barbed wire? I think uh, it's razor wire. It's razor wire. It's nice though. I know. You know it's getting creative. One. I like it. You can see the Ferris wheel in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is a, uh, wait a minute, is this an amusement park or a, a warehouse? I don't even know what this is. What is cash? Basically, don't. The weapon silo with an amusement park in the background? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, the bolts, bolts walking right out to find off. He's not even looking at him. Gets the headshot so quickly. And Winter Fox already stunned here at the beginning of the round. Is they're going to have to try to make up for this. And it's, it's I mean, it's looking like they wanted to direct A play this. Without a player pushing checkers, it's going to get a lot harder. And it's going to be a lot more predictable. Look, Bolt's moving up. There's another one. What's happening, Winter Fox? He wasn't squeaky, but now he's at four. They're falling apart. Phelps with another headshot. Finally, there's a pickup from APOC there out of squeaky. But yeah, it's all falling apart pretty quickly after this one. Phelps finding another one. Imagine the last bit up. He's going to try to smoke his way through over across here to get into the A-bomb site. It's going to net up at least one more kill. This is pissed around, though. Those frags don't really matter too much in the grand scheme of things. He's got a lot more makeup work to do, and he's about to be flanked out by Lucas. Well, he does get a kill, so if you want to, you could buy a scout next round. So, I mean, maybe a little bit. Maybe helps out a little bit. Maybe he wants a scout next round, because they're probably going to have to buy. A little bit of a boost. A little boosty boost. Now as he pushes out, he will finally be shut down by Lucas, and there you have it. The Immortals are going to get up to a 12th, and they start off with a continued lead from the first half. Yeah, this is not looking too great for Winter Fox, and they, I, I mean, they didn't plant the bomb, so you kind of have to expect a force by in this kind of situation with, with pistols being so strong in, in this game, but no, they're gonna play the, the safe route. This is, you know, this is really, really safe, but you know, you're down 12-4, I don't know, like you just wanna go big or go home, or just try to hopefully get some kills this round and then be able to plant the bomb and then buy next round. So a lot of things working against the favor of Winter Fox, especially when Phelps just headshots you. <laughs> Lucas waiting for more than a push back in two. He's actually going to be found out. He's caught without equipment on either, and he can't even recover it in time. So Zeus is going to pick up that kill. That's the only frag he's going to get, though. And beyond this, it seems like Phelps, Henny, and the rest of the Immortals are shutting this down. As I say that, though, Apoc were uh, rebounding a little bit there with one more kill. Down at 3 HP, but Balt's holding. The nade rolling in. This might be the finishing blow. Doesn't even need it. Just uses the SMG to do the job. And their 13th will roll up, only losing two of their players here. Yeah, now Winter Fox is going to decide they did not get the bomb down at all. So are they going to maybe drop some AKs, do a little old school kind of buy where you drop AKs to some armor, get some utility, and just try to wolf pack it somewhere? But no, they're going to save again. Except for APOC, he's going to buy some armor. He's going to be the entry killer. I don't know. I don't see the point of buying armor without head armor, especially against some machine guns. You're just going to one shot anyways. <laughs> Why not? You tell him. And there's the headshot first off onto Imagine. Zeus just racking him up now. Third, fourth, fifth. They're all dead. Ouch. And that's an easy round for the Immortals again. Yeah. Uh, Immortals, they're pretty solid in their CT. Just kind of stacking in places. Like, if, if you see one Immortal, there's probably a good chance there's one or the other one hiding around the corner. That's how they play. Pretty compact. And there's, there's just no resistance on this push at all. Look at it. Only Lucas takes damage from that one. There's, it's not even like they're struggling with it at all. There's, there's very no. little coordination, it seems, on the Winter Fox side, so it'll be off to a rough start I mean, today. Jumping through smokes is not a great idea, especially. It's it's really hard to really t have the one up, because the person behind the smoke will always see you before you see them. Not everybody can be Stewie. <laughs> but he always has a flashbang when he does it, so it's like there is some method to his madness. Yeah. Well, we do actually see a bit of a mistake being made here by the Immortals early on. Phelps trying to push his way in to get that early advantage, but there's a huge amount of players from Winter Flux here, so they do take him out pretty easily. But this is now acted as the early warning signal. Bolt you know, passively is playing back over here, even goes into the Molotov a little bit to try and make sure he stays in that corner, doesn't get flanked, doesn't work out so well. Henny responding, but again, these guys in the Immortals are trying to take these open fights, and Winter Fox looking a bit better. Henny's keeping this alive, and now Lucas in the flank brings it back down to a two versus two here. Off new and imagine. But the last two up and running, Off new's just been team flashed, though. 
Didn't get the communication out there properly. Doesn't affect them, thankfully, because the Immortals are holding for a moment here, not wanting to take the risk on moving in for the retake just yet. The Maltuck goes back into the corner, though, and Optus forced to take the duel, but he wins it. Now it all falls to Henny, trading out for the AK. He's got half the clip left sitting in there, but now he's got to try and find these last two. Finds the first one. That's a very predictable spot, and it's all to Ofnu. He's going to Molotov off the bomb, and he gets the kill anyway. Clutch from Ofnu, and that's going to keep Winter Fox in this game for a little bit longer. Henny, he, he has like a, a sixth sense. Every time I watch that guy play, and he just knows he's spamming right. He's just, he's a crazy individual. I, will, uh, I want to know what he's eating every day for breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> they have like a, I think they have like a team chef that makes some like really good food. Oh yeah, make him some of that. They post it on Twitter sometimes. Brain food. Yeah. Make him really smart. Make him nice. really good. <laughs> I don't know. I want. I, I want to know his, uh, his, his mind's eye or whatever. He has robotic arms. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's with that guy. <laughs> well, we've got Lucas trying to push his way out of the smoke, and again, second round in a row that someone trying to push through smoke on CT side has been denied. So maybe the Immortals want to stray from this a little bit here. Uh, so now again, they're in a five on four. But he may have been able to spot some of these players because similarly to that last round, look again, quick rotations moving over. The retaking mid control. They're trying to aggress them again in a CT over here, but that's not working at all. Imagine I think is going to be the only player knocked out here. Phelps tries to drop in. He's traded. Out, and it's all a fall into the bolts who's obviously going to save in a 1v4 with him still being up on top of shroud spot currently I would actually move from that spot you know you don't want to kind of give I mean obviously you always want to check that spot but uh, the angle that they can reach from either uh, highway or, or or kind of that area where he's looking at right there a truck it's uh it's gonna be a hard shot for him to pull off you know play a little safer it looks like none of winter fox is really chasing off there over that so Looks like he's going to be safe. He's going to be safe. And nobody from the Winter Fox side is going to be hunting him down, it seems. They're just starting off to build their own T side here. So not going to be the best idea in the world to have a situation that they had with Zeus. Zeusy, apologies. It's a bit difficult when there's two Zeuses in the server. Uh, yeah, it's very close. Just one letter. Other than the you know, Immortals, but it's like Zeus, Zeusy. That uh, we need a showdown. Who's the better Zeus? One-on-one <laughs> -on -one shotgun. Immortals. I think Immortals Zeus wins the shotgun battle though. Rifle? Yeah, yeah. I think Zeus he wins the rifle. Battle. I mean, just going by the just going by the score lines right now, Zeus he's winning. But yeah, 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 you know. But if, if Zeus had a shotgun, I don't know. It's got like there'd be a whole different story. It's got like double the kills of him. <laughs> but you don't underestimate Zeus in a shotgun. <laughs> no, no, you don't do that, Blue. So we will see what the Winter Fox players are going to try to do to keep this uh, comeback rolling here. They spotted Henny in that smoke. Apoc, that's a lot of bullets, though. You've got Zeusy to support with that, though, along with Apoc. But now Bolt's peeking back out. The only rifle still in this game, but he's impacting with it. They don't know where he's at, either. He gets a second player. Zeusy's looking over there towards, like, garage or the vents. Now he's going to hop for the third. They finally realize where he's at, and Bolt will get smoked off. And I don't think he's going to want to take this duel any further. No, I'm pretty smart to get those two kills kind of play it back a little bit. You know, there's no reason to repeat smoke like five times after they know where you're at. It's just a a, a bad uphill battle. And looks like he possibly flanked them. If he gets bolts, it's definitely going to be a nice little kill, killing their only rifle on the team. And now there's one-way smoke from Lucas. Oh, should spam that spot. You always spam that spot if you see the smoke. Zeus doing so much damage, but only bringing it down to 11. And now Lucas is going to try to push out here within that smoke. He has have a little bit of a hiding spot here, but they found him. They knock him out of there, and that's a perfect grenade on the Phelps. Down to 14 HP. He's got nowhere to run. He's got to hide in this mini pit. Trying to use a headshot angle here. He actually gets the first kill, and the second one. Phelps with the big clutch, and that's going to give them their 15th round. Nice shots by Phelps. <laughs> I like... mean, it's so it's so good the way he uses two at low HP. He's forcing them to headshot him essentially, and he, he plays that so great. So really well, really well done by Phelps and a great clutch in the two v one. They're so good, so good. And it shows by the scoreline too. Look at him leading to a huge degree over the rest of his teammates, 26 and 13. With the next man up, there's Bolt at 17 and nine. Yeah, that's got a that hurts for Winter Fox. Like you, you're up, you lose an eco round like that, and. Felp with an amazing one on two, just flicking, flacking, winning the round, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. You want to keep that rhyming game going, or? Uh, I'm 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 not as good as 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 Hato Kissed, you know. He's 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 the rhyme master. <laughs> Trying to compete a bit there. I know. I would lose every time to him. He is too good. He's a he, he does mixtapes and everything. I'd be just 
brushed are, under the water. Those are a secret, rug. man. You can't tell. You can't tell the public about those. Oh, he knows. That's that's his experimental. Anyway, they're <laughs> out and they're trying to make this happen now. Zeus, he's gonna grab that first kill. That's some team damage coming in there. Apparently, Fitter Fox though still battling back for this one. They bring it into a two v three to push again. The wild push without team sport rolls it from Henny. Quite a few times we've seen Immortal players try to do this, and well, they're still not checking for Dexter here, so the moment Dexter just ripping him to shreds back in that corner. They've got him lit up, but Dexter again gonna close out here. Three kills for him, and the man that was down at 1-17 and 17, just a few rounds ago is now up at 5-18. Still, still a bit of a way to go to recover here, but at least uh, showing up finally. Better, le um, better late than never. Yeah. Or, you know, I mean, that's that's the saying. I don't know how that works in CSGO, but I mean, if, they, if Winter Fox does bring it back, you know, the 15, 15 overtime, I mean, you probably have to think uh, probably Dexter was a big part of that. And so off of that, now the guys from the Winter Fox roster are still battling for this, but that is certainly not going to help their case. Phelps moving in there with the op, gets the shot in Amy, and that's actually something that we've seen uh, Stewie do quite a bit. And look at this from Zeus moving right in. Apoc, though, is looking for that, so he is going to be able to challenge it and knock him out. Helps us to impact in a much bigger fashion, assuming the Immortals roster still decides to stick to this push. Oh, but the flashbang works out great for the Winter Fox roster. Phelps, he's mulling in all directions. He's got to take the battle here, hunting for more, but finally the Molotov is going to do enough damage to burn him out. Baiting out the shots from Bolt's work, but he's still going to get that kill with the P250. Finding one pickup, looking for more here, and buying time for his teammate to rotate in. There's Henny with the Deagle, bringing it down to just one. It's Apoc as the last man up for Winter Fox, stuck in the corner over here behind the forklift at 34 HP. They've got him cornered, he's nowhere to run, and he's got two deagles pointing at his face here. He's also only got a smoke to work with as far as utility is concerned, so this is a very, very tough one. And as soon as he pushes out, <laughs> he's sitting there waiting. Same for Lucas, they're both just stacked up. Oh, Apoc's like, they Apoc. think I fell back, they think I fell back. I'm going to B, guys, hello, I'm going to B. How's this going to work? What's he going <laughs> to... No, I'm sorry, they saw you. <laughs> the mind game fails horribly, and that is how the game is going to end. Immortals are going to take control of this matchup here. A little bit of struggling in the second half, some good stuff showing for the winner roster, but ultimately the Brazilians shine through. And with that, I believe that secures them their position at the Pro League Finals in Sao Paulo. Oh yeah, that's why it's nice to, to secure a playoff at your home country. You know, they're gonna fight for Brazil along yeah. with SK, and then we'll see who wins. We'll yeah. see who wins that one. So we've got those guys fighting to get there. Both of the uh, the home field advantage teams, I think, are through at this point. So that's going to uh, it's going to be a good thing, of course, for the home crowd. We'll have to see who else from the the North American side are going to end up making it in there, of course, and that'll all be found out not only today, but over the course of tomorrow. Too, we have those all those big matches still to be played. But we have some analysts waiting for us to break down this match. Let's send it over to them to talk a little bit more about this one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was looking like a little bit of a one-sided match, I guess it was, but Winter Fox brought it a little bit closer. And Dexter, your boy, your key to victory there for Winter Fox, big letdown. Yeah, I said at the in the pregame that if they were going to take a map, Dexter had to op really well. I think up until like the second last round, he was like two and seventeen, which is the opposite of doing well. And uh, we saw it in the final score for the teams. You know, it, it wasn't that they were playing four v five, but it feels like it when you just look at the overall impact that that Dexter really didn't have in that map. Yeah, and Winter Fox, round eight really broke their economy. That's unfortunate for them because they had a really good start to the round. Had, you know, it looked like it, but they just fell fell apart mid-round. Uh, mid yeah, and you see this a lot when teams, um, if, if a team doesn't have the same firepower as their opponent, even if they have an advantage, you feel like there's still a good chance they're going to lose the round. And Immortals knows how to play these kind of odd man and, and, and disadvantage situations extremely well. I actually would have liked to have seen if, if Winter Fox would have played a little bit more gimmicky, use, leverage some more of those boosts, maybe boost somebody here in the site. You almost always get a first kill when you do that. And when you have a man advantage and you can make that 4v, you know, that 5v4 a like 5v3, even if you just trade out even numbers there, you play a one and done spot, you should still win the round. I would have loved to have seen them do a little bit more of the, you know, kind of cheeky gimmicky things just to have a, a better chance, especially CT side. Yeah, and then one of the keys is obviously winning the pistol round when you're down after such a horrible abysmal half and they, they didn't win the, the second pistol now, round. This, so. is, this is really where you see the firepower of Immortals come out. The, the individual skill on this team is so high. Bolts is, is one of the players that you know we mentioned has always been like the, the consistent deliverer for, for this team. Um, and then you even see Phelps just kind of peek out. They're just one bulleting and it looks extremely easy. And uh, I think it's because of 
because they know how much better individually they are than, than the players for Winter Fox, that's why we saw them kind of force up. We saw them play a little bit too loose there when it, when the score got a little closer than it really should have been. Um, There's a couple times like retakes, they just like ran into the site and they lost. They ended up losing that round, but it just felt like they knew they were going to win. They just wanted to make it happen faster. So a couple mistakes, but it, it never really felt like it was that close of a match. Yeah, Immortals looking like a team that really wants that spot and Winter Fox looking like a team that's kind of sitting over at the bottom of the standings. Yeah. So either way, guys, want to give a shout out to the score esports go on take out your phone ios or android device check it out on the google play app store it is the best place for news and stats and don't go anywhere second map between winter fox and immortals after this break